As part of the Progressive Farm Programme, we are here today on the farm of Peter and Gerard Moore, Belliestown County Meat. Peter has a 100% winter milk herd, and we'll have a look at how genetics plays a key role in improving the profitability and sustainability of this herd. My name is Peter Moore. I am farming here with my father, Jerry. Uh, we're in Belliestown County Meat. We are a mixed dairy and tillage farm, uh, all, completely autumn calving. So we're, at this point, just about finished calving for the year. We're milking Holstein Friesian cows here and we're aiming for a cow low maintenance that can be managed over the winter. For last year we were for across the year averaging about 17.5 litres per cow and the fat 4.58 and protein 3.7. Calv in 2023 went very well. We had calves down about 90 and we had a vet assisted one and didn't use a jack after it on anything else. Uh, the main focus when it comes to selecting straws for AI usage would be the, uh, like I say, the fats and proteins, fertility and EBI. Strong focus on EBI. Our breeding advisor here on the farm is Michael Quinn and we've been working with him for the last probably four or five years, I'm not sure, probably more in fact. And uh, so he basically comes to the farm, visits the farm here before we start the breeding in November and we run through our once for the coming season and then Michael produces a team of bulls and matches them to the cows for us, so that's what we work with. It, Michael's support is great because I'm not that big up on reading the details and all the, so many numbers in them catalogues, it's easier to have an expert go through it for you. So the breeding policy here on the farm, this year we moved to using sect semen, so we selected only a certain number of cows to go with sect semen for Frisians and the rest used beef straws. So this was our first year going with the longhorn straws. So. We signed up to the programme and we had we calved down probably 30 or so longhorns. All easy calving, there was no bother at any calving and they were great lively calves up and going straight away and no hassle getting rid of them. The, once they hit 55 kgs they were collected from the yard. So we got involved in the longhorn scheme because actually Michael suggested would we be interested in trying it out so we said we would, we went with it and we we're very happy with how it went. So we're actually, we've increased the number of straws we've gone for this year. My name is Michael Quinn. I work with Progressive Genetics 25 years now in the Mead, North Dublin area. I've been calling out to Peter now for the last four years. I'm his breeding advisor. I also do a little bit of other work from many years now. I'm pregnancy testing cows from the past 20 years or so. I call to him maybe two times a year to discuss breeding. I like to see the progeny that are born on the farm, but I also have to call to him to discuss bulls. First thing I do is I look at the previous year's figures, see how Peter is progressing and uh, after that then I start to build a picture of what bulls might he need to progress his herd even further. It's here on his farm he's 537 kgs mixed solids for 2022. He reached 4.5% fat and 3.7% protein. He has got 61 centiliter on his average milk price for 2022. It's, it's all right looking at one year, but Peter is actually doing it every year. So if, if I look at the last five years, on average, he has produced 531 kgs milk solids. So he has bred himself a very robust cow here. He has got a 363 day calf in interval, which is a calf per cow per year on the button. So his fertility is excellent here. Uh, well, this year now we've been using a bull like Teak, which very good production and fertility. I've been also using bulls like Lobster and uh, I even use a bit of Francis PP here this year. The Longhorn scheme was introduced there probably two years ago and the Bootlayer company are working with Peter on this. So basically he's getting a guaranteed outlet for his calves every year and a guaranteed price. So the main reason we do the milk recording is to obviously keep track of the production of the cows but also mainly the main advantage I see in, in this is identifying high cell count cows or problem cows that we need to deal with are cull. The main advantage is when it comes to selective dry cow therapy, drying off cows, we will, based on the milk recording results, we will select which antibiotics are used for drying off or none at all. So when it comes to software usage on the farm, what we're using is AgriNet on the PC inside and mainly we're using that for registering calves. We've been using AgriNet, I'd say since we bought a computer back in 1996. Apart from registering calves, we will all the dry cow dates and all of that is monitored on the on the package and that's we run off that basically entirely. I'm sure you couldn't work without it. It's very useful. <laughs> With a view to the environment and trying to keep sustainability at a level on the farm. The main thing when it, we would be doing is when it comes to the breeding, selecting the high solid cows, so hopefully we can increase production but reduce the number of cows. And also we have recently 
uh, upgraded to LES S slurry spreading with the trailing shoe, so that's for the coming year. So for maximizing profit, I suppose it comes down to again keeping costs as low as possible and also back to the breeding and breeding a cow that hopefully will increase solids and yield without having to increase numbers. Long term, I hope hopefully someday we'll get to robotic milking and reduce the labor required on the farm, but that's, that's the main plan, that's a long term plan.